Hey, thanks for tuning to another episode of Spiritual Scientist. It's Victor. Hey, thanks for checking me out. Um, so, I thought I'd do another driving of work video this morning, and it is November, Saturday on November. So, welcome and good morning if you're watching this right away. Good afternoon if you're watching this later in the day, and good evening if you're watching it some other time. So, um, get right to it. As I always usually say in these videos, let's get right to it. Um, and I'm driving to work, so excuse me if I don't look into the camera. I'm going to talk about a couple things. Uh, not got some Mandela, Mandela effects for me right away. Just talked about the beginning. Uh, one is that I saw in a chat for people that totally... I don't want to say the word freaks me out, but... Nothing really surprised me anymore, but is surprising is that when people have, when see a bright light, some people sneeze now because they say it changes the uh, eyes, the inside, you know, when your eyes refract, uh, you know, it changes the uh, pupils dilation is what I mean to say. And then they, they sneeze. Okay, so no one before uh, sneezed because the, a bright light came on or, or whatever. So that's totally insane to me. Um, it's just mind-blowing that you would sneeze <laughs> so if the light goes on or it's a bright light or, or something. I, I just, like to me that, that sounds crazy because what if you were like coming out of a cave and you're an ancient you know, man, and you're coming out of a cave, and there's something there that's going to kill you, and you see a bright light, and then you sneeze, like, that, that makes total no sense, I don't know, uh, so there's these crazy, you know, things that happen, so, uh, I always say this one that was the craziest was, I remember as a kid going to the lake, and, you know, going swimming in a lake, I went to this lake in New York, and I used to go to it, and we we're young and you would just go down from the dirt and you go swimming in a lake okay now when you go to a lake and you go swimming in it if it's kind of like there's a beach there so I'm like where'd the sand come from where's the sand come from we're not the ocean this is a lake how could there be sand I don't get it and everybody's like Oh, there's sand, you know, so for years people think this is normal that there's sand at the lake and I'm sure they're gonna have some kind of scientific explanation about it just like you have it when the, you sneeze and <laughs> because the light hit your eye but it makes no sense to me that I remember that there was no <laughs> sand at the lake it was sand at the beach um, so these kind of things, you know, are, are funny. So I had this run that I was doing. Uh, I run every, you know, I tried to run every day. I haven't been lately. And I always ran past this, you know, ran a certain place, ran. And now all of a sudden there's this new house that wasn't there before for me. It's a house. So it, it, it it's an old decrepit house. I know I would have noticed this house because I ran past it literally every day like and I'm looking for things all the time so a lot of things uh, have been changing I went past a Baskin Robbins uh, yesterday and now instead of it saying you know it says Dunkin Donuts and Baskin Robbins first of all Dunkin Donuts was Dunkin Donuts Baskin Robbins was Baskin Robbins they combined whatever Dunkin Donuts name changed uh, a lot okay it was Duncan uh, like the name Duncan now it's it's crazy and now you have Baskin Robbins and it says BR in the middle of Baskin Robbins BR okay and now Burger King has a different logo as well I'm not going to get that detailed into it but so just thought I'd cover some Mandel effects I want to vent a little bit and this guy just kind of cut me off while I'm driving, so it's just so stupid. Okay, if you're driving in traffic and there's 
every it's it's bumper to bumper and you're doing like 30 or 40 miles an hour or 50 miles an hour why go around somebody to get in front of them to slow down it's the stupidest thing ever just you know inventing so anyway uh, I had to go visit a client yesterday and at his house okay I don't talk about what I do I don't want to be stalked you know you guys half of you guys are crazy <laughs> by the way I'm sorry, but a lot of people are nuts. Especially the ones that tune into stuff about the Mandela Effect. You guys are... A lot of you trying to gaslight me and saying crazy stuff. And the other half... There's some people that are really into it. And a lot of people are just trying to, uh, you know, put me down. Say I'm insane. You know, whatever. It's fine. Uh, it doesn't bother me. It's just saying I know. Um, so... Anyway, so I, I had to go to a client's house. Uh, just like I'm going to work now. And, okay, he's a very wealthy client. He has a mansion on the side of a mountain, okay? I mean, this guy is loaded. Infinity pool, you know, whatever you can imagine, it's there. Anyway, he had uh, security at the gate and once you go past security you have to drive 10 minutes to his house on this on the, it's crazy up you know huge mansion far it, it's crazy the property imagine anyway uh i go to security guy security guy's gonna be like you know i have to take your temperature now it's the first time i've ever had my temperature taken and i mentioned before about you know, uh, Mark of the Beast. Anyway, so I had to go visit him. I had to have my temperature change, uh, taken. I said, okay. He put the thing on my, you know, not on my forehead, you know. He's standing five feet away, four feet away, aims it at me. Beep. Gets the temperature, right? Now, I am... A light worker so as a light worker what do we do we work with light and he's aiming a light or something at my head I don't know what it does I haven't had the time to look at how these temperature things take your temperature I'm sure it's something where it beams something at you anyway when he in it's the first time I'm having this done and I'm like so being that I meditate so much, I made my mind quiet, okay? I don't, I am totally neutral. I didn't have any, I'm not being psychosomatic. I'm being quiet. I'm saying to myself, let's see what happens. You know, I got it. I'm the test subject down for everybody. Let's see what happens. So totally close, I even closed my eyes and just said, okay. What's going to happen? I'm trying to get to work. These guys are coming. So this is the important part. So I feel something cold on my forehead. Okay? So it feels cold to me. I'm describing it when he did it. For I could feel it. Now, for many of you, you can't feel these things. I'm a light worker. When I, when I was with a Native American Indian tribe and learning shamanic ways and I would go through these you know sensors they have in stores to see if you stole anything they have these posts and you walk past and the alarm goes off when I walk into the store like that I could feel it like I could feel these things they're happening to you they really are it's real it's not psychosomatic anyway I felt it, it was it was uh, cold on my forehead and he's like then he goes, oh, we got your temperature. I think it beeped. And then, you're fine. And I was like, okay. And then after that, okay, here's where it gets crazy. I had a headache. So, in my forehead hurt. I said, mother, you know, I said, dad, ow. This hurt. So then, I'm irritable the rest of the day and I'm angry the rest of the day, and I'm having a bad day, and all of a sudden, you know, I notice all these other Mandela effects going around. 
So I'm like, they did something with this light. The light lowered my frequency. The light did something when he did this. The, the sensor, it does something. I'm like, I knew it. I said it on my channel. I said it's the mark of the beast. The beast is the temperature. The beast exists in hellfire, the Bible says. So when when you when you get your temperature taken, it's like when you're in class and you're getting a mark taken. Like you're marked present or absent. And that's the mark. So it's the mark of the beast. It's a number is the temperature or his name. So it says pass or fail. So it's saying he has my temperature. So I'm like now I have to go to work and they changed the law here. And now they have to take my temperature. And I asked them, I said, can you just do it on my hand? He goes, no, we have to do it on your forehead. So now I'm probably going to have to quit. You know, I, I, it took me all day, the rest of the day, to try to unwind the frequency change that that sensor did on my forehead. Okay? I mean... I'm pretty sure I was able to unwrap and un undo the damage that it did. But to do this, now I'm going to have to do this every friggin' day. And for you guys, you're not going to be able to do this. You're not going to be able to un undo what they're doing with this putting on your forehead, taking the mark of the beast. And when the you know, when the angel comes to the Lord and he's going to, he's going to be pissed off and it's going to be, you know, the wrath of God is going to come on mankind. Everybody who had this done is going to get, is going to get beat. You're going to get, <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. And I'm going to be trying to undo this every friggin' day because I have to go get my temperature taken. So it's freaking me out. And I was in such a bad mood the rest of the day. I'm like, now I have the mark of the beast. Now, oh. If you had your temperature taken, you got to do some meditation. You got to do some praying. Because back in back in the day, I remember they would put something underneath your tongue. It's disposable. It takes, and they did it in it like 10 seconds. Less. It's like a second. They go beep. And they could do it that way. But no. You have to do it by on your on your hand or on your forehead okay there we're in the 3d there's higher dimensional reality there's beings around you that are that are manipulating all this it's not cool man and there's a cop trying to see if i have if i'm speeding hello let's wave i'm not speeding i'm a law-abiding citizen so anyway I just thought I'd share all this with you. I know it all sounds crazy, uh, but this is really bothersome to me about now, you know, I warned you. I warned everybody. Nobody listens to me. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. I can sense when this temperature is being taken. I feel it. Maybe you feel it too. It's doing something. It ain't cool, man. You sound like Joe Biden. It ain't cool, man. No way, man. Give me a break, man. So stop it. Let's. We got to figure something out. I mean, this isn't cool. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. It's happening. It's real. All right. I got to go. Like, subscribe, share. Bye.